Hi everyone. I've decided to try creating some genealogy related instruction videos which I'm calling Tips, Tricks, and How To. Our topic today is Family Tree Maker 2017 Workarounds for Merging Records from Ancestry.com. I'm using Software Mac Kia Family Tree Maker 2017 Windows version, the build from 2017. I'm on an older laptop that came with Windows 7, but I'm running Windows 10. Now there is a more current build that was released in February 2018. However, I haven't had time to install it, so I'm not using it yet. So a, a key feature of Family Tree Maker for probably almost 10 years now um, has been its ability to merge records um, information, sources and citations directly with from within Family Tree Maker from Ancestry and it kind of automates some of the process. Now it doesn't take away the need for you to do the research and analyze and determine is this record for my person or a person of another name but it's a way to help make the process faster. Um, earlier this year, Family Tree Maker 2017 users have been experiencing a problem with the web search and that they're getting either no records or not as many records as what they um, find if they're searching the Ancestry website directly from within their web browser. So about mid-May Ancestry released this notice on their um, Facebook page which Matt Kiev brought over to its support pages and that uh, behind the scenes Ancestry has been moving things around and making tweaks and enhancements and this is causing issues sometimes with the Ancestry login from within uh, Family Tree Maker, the Family Sync, the Ancestry Hints, and the web search while you're browsing in the web search workspace. Um, while well, you're trying to merge on information from Ancestry. So um, a workaround was developed until Ancestry gets done making these changes and Makiev can figure out if they need to tweak anything in the program. Um, so this is um, the problem that people are experiencing. Now when you're doing a web search usually you want to select from your tree or the family card, the focus of your research first and then go into web search. And you can see the information you have entered in your tree for this person appears in the left hand column at the bottom. This is the information you've got in your tree. So it Family Tree Maker brings you to this um, search interface and it fills in the information from your tree into the various entry points. And you can tweak them around as, as you wish depending upon what you're looking for. But when people have been clicking to perform a search this is the issue that they're coming up with. It's they're being told there's zero good matches. The workaround is to go down to the bottom of this interface and decide what you want to search. Are you going to search records or are you going to search trees? If you're going to search records, shut off the trees and perform your search. Same search, but without the trees, you get results. If you want to search trees and not records, perform the search and you get results. Now the thing to note about playing with the um, choices down at the bottom of any interface, whether it's in the web search here or it's on your browser while you're searching um, Ancestry, is that these items here are sticky they're going to stay on or off depending upon what you last chose. 
So you have to remember if you change the focus of your search, you need to adjust these if needed. So again, this is the problem. And the solution is to either search records or to search the trees. Don't try searching them all at once. It's a workaround until they can, um, until Ancestry is done and Family Tree Maker can see if there's what they can do to resolve the issue. Now I want to point out some things about this interface while we're here is um, when Family Tree Maker brings the information over, it's filling in anything and everything that you've got an entry for. Um, it applies some filters to the names and you can see all of them are checked on for the first name and only a few of them are checked on for the last name. Now you can tweak, tweak these if you want to search exactly that name or sounds like or similar, you can shh, turn them on and off as you want. Again, the same thing with um, the first name. If you're looking for a record that doesn't contain a marriage record, you're probably going to want to shut off the marriage, marriage information. Um, ancestry results work in a way that the more a record matches what you've filled in on the search interface, the higher up it is going to be in the search results. So if you're looking for a census, and depending on the age of your person when they lived, you're usually not going to find a marriage information. And if they're an adult, you're usually not going to find the parents' information. And for six of the 15 census enumeration years, you are not going to find the name of a wife on the census unless she's the head of the household listed. So take those, whether you're doing your search in the web search space in Family Tree Maker or doing it in your browser on the website directly, take those that information into account and you'll improve your results list. Now, those are the tips that I have for the searching and the workaround that someone else developed uh, for the problem that's been existing for most of the year now, um, which isn't necessarily a family tree maker problem. Um, but I want to show you a trick that I have because I call this a broad search because we're searching everything at once. Do that search again and then you're floating through the categories or from there or here and then uh, tweaking the centuries or the decades um, you're drilling down and so it's searching everything at one time um, that's not a way a lot of us work a lot of us who are especially experienced genealogists um, we tend to do more focus searches. Now, whether that's on a record type or a specific data collection, um, and this takes too much time, this broad search, to find what we're looking for. So my trick is to, in the URL address up here at the top of the web, sp web search space, is to type in the URL as if I was in my browser. So www.ancestry.com Hit enter to go there and voila! I've got the Ancestry website back in my web search space. And I can go in just like I was on a browser and to narrow down by location, narrow down by record collection, or choose a specific database collection. So I'm still obviously in Family Tree Maker.
and I can ch tweak these filters for the um, name entries if I want. Perform my search. And then research, analyze the results that I have. Now, the Ebenezer I just entered in is about 50 years old. And I can click on the view record. And look, okay, I've got a male over 45, so that's probably him. Now this is an abbreviation that the indexer just wrote the abbreviation rather than um, write out the name and males there's only a 16 to 25 there in that household. So analyzing that that tells me this first entry is the one that I want and as you can see on the right hand column the merge information appears I click merge. Um, I want to discard the abbreviation. I want to add in the residence year as an alternate. Click next. Um, in here I can choose to download the media to my Family Tree Maker tree file or not. Um, and here I can rename the file if I desire, which I usually do. But here I'm just going to bring the media with it. You get an uh, idea of what the citation is going to appear as. Click Merge. It completes the merge. And the one thing to note with this trick is that it often when you're done with the merge, it pops back to that broad search. Now you can type in the URL again to go there, but you can also add in a location. So I'm going to type in that the Ancestry website URL. I'm going to call it Ancestry website just so I I'm aware which one it is that I want and click OK and then it adds it to this link now I can click on it and go right back with a single click to the full website now this one is a built-in link and it takes you to that um, broad category search interface I tend not to search with the shotgun, I tend to use a laser and fine tune what I'm searching. So that's my trick for the web search page. I've covered the workaround that was developed and gave you some information on the search interface. So I hope this helps everyone out. This has been Tips, Tricks, and How-To from Gone Researching. Goodbye.